Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel. What we do on this channel, we build awareness about alcoholism and let people know that you can have a happy, joyous, and full life without the use and abuse of alcohol. If you like what I'm talking about, please subscribe and hit that like button, okay? I'd really appreciate it. And what this video is about today is something that I had a hard time getting my head around. And what it was is that for some reason, I always believed if I wasn't, you know, firing at 100% in life or life wasn't going my way or I got moody or I got out of line with somebody, for some reason, I wasn't working my sobriety. I wasn't working my program. And, you know, it's almost like if I wasn't positive all the time or I didn't perceive that my life was going great or I didn't feel hurt or I got angry at somebody, I had a problem with my recovery and there's a problem with me. And that was a big deal for me. That was a great big deal. Like I've had problems up at the cottage this weekend with property line issues, neighbors. I'm obsessing on it. I'm having issues with myself. I'm having a little bit of, you know, back and forth with my wife, Brenda, which is kind of like a little bit of an argument going on because I'm, I'm out of whack. I'm out of, I'm not serene. I'm not, I don't have my center because I'm obsessing on all this BS that's going around at my cottage. And then what happens to me is I start attacking myself, hurting myself, thinking, God damn it, Terry, your sobriety's no good. Look it, you've been around for many years. You should be able to handle things like this. You shouldn't be thinking like that, getting depressed. And, you know, start beating up myself that I shouldn't be behaving like this. But that's not what it's all about. I wish I was could handle things sometimes a lot better than I do at times. You know, nicer to people or not getting angry sometimes or not feeling depressed or sad or being grateful all the time or, you know, helping others and being, you know, grateful for helping others. Doing all those things that we're supposed to do in sobriety, right? To make us feel better. And, and what I'm trying to say is that sometimes life is not like that. Sometimes the clouds come over us, the negativity comes. We think we're not working our program. We think we're not, you know, we're not connected to God or our spirituality lacks, and maybe it does. Maybe we're not working our program all the time. Maybe we're not, I don't know. Because that's what it feels like to me that, you know, I'm, you know, I got 30 years of sobriety and it feels like I have one day. But it's not about that. It's not about if life is perfect. It's not about if things are going our way. It's not about if I'm not handling it right. What it's about for me, and you know, when I bring it all back, I went to a meeting this morning, I brought it all back to keeping it simple. It's about having the tools when the storms of life come and doing the best we can to what we have to deal with, to what we have to work with. And that's what it's about. It's about not drinking one day at a time, but sometimes those days are heavy. Those resentments are brutal. Some days we don't feel love. Some days we don't feel like we're wanted. Some days it's hard at work. We're not grateful. For whatever reasons, we're afraid, we're hurt, we're jealous, whatever it is, that's okay. It's okay to be messed up. And that's one of the greatest things I've learned in recovery. I don't have to be everything every day to everybody. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to not cry or sometimes voice my anger a little bit, you know, as long as I'm sort of respectable or maybe I say the wrong things at the right time. I don't know, but I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be like that. I don't. The greatest lessons that I've learned about myself and the world around me and people, places and things come out of the hardest days. The best lessons are in the hardest times. The most great gratitude that I have is when I come out of a hard time. They're all learning experiences. As my old boss used to say, their problems are opportunities in disguise. And I don't have to look at it as saying, I'm inadequate, I'm deficient, I'm not equipped, 
I've come from the wrong side of the tracks. I'm emotionally crippled. I, you know, I'm all this negative stuff. I don't have to do that. All I have to say is today's bad. I'm not doing it right, but I'm going to try and do better and move forward. That's what I'm going to try and do today. And yesterday, that's what I did. I took it in stride, tried to maximize the emotional damage to myself or anybody else around me, try and keep my cool, ride it out, work it through emotionally, mentally, spiritually with my sponsor and get back on the right track. But my days of not accepting myself for the negative part of my life or the negative part of my situation or myself are done. They're done because that's who I am. That's who I am. I'm a person who has flaws. I have a person that has issues. I have a person that I always have to work on myself. I always do that. And I do it gracefully most of the time. Okay. So when the storms of life come, I understand now that sobriety is not always a picnic. It's not always fun, joyous and free. Sometimes it's hell. It's miserable. If you got one day of sobriety or you got a hundred years of sobriety, the human condition is like that. What I just described in this video, there is no way we can be on a hundred percent, happy a hundred percent, content with our lives a hundred percent, not fed up with people, you know, don't get fed up with people a hundred percent, not like our job a hundred, you know, all the day a hundred percent. There's no way we can do that. Or maybe there is some people who can do it, but I'm not one of them. I'm inadequate sometimes, but I learn the most when those storms of life come up and I feel like I'm not working my program. When I feel I'm not spiritually or emotionally fit to take on the world. Because sometimes that is when I'm working the program the most. Well, not sometimes, most of the time, that's when I'm working the program on the most. I'm working the steps, I'm reaching out, I'm helping people. I got up this morning, I went to a meeting. I actually was active in that meeting. I got involved, I shared my experience, strength and hope with people. And hey, I'm sitting here today, another 24 hours of sobriety, another day went by that life still carried on. Nothing happened, it's okay. It's okay not to be okay. It really, really is, okay? Okay, 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 okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. But thanks a lot for stopping by. God bless you. Stay cool. Take it one day at a time. If you can leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. But let me tell you something. You're worth sobriety. You're worth having a good life, okay? Sobriety equals freedom. Sobriety equals freedom. Ciao for now, God bless. There's no I in team. Join a like-minded group around your neighborhood. Get involved, get active, get involved in the steps, get involved in the traditions, and guess what will happen? Your life will change. Guarantee it, guarantee it. Thanks a lot, ciao for now, bye-bye.